Hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be telling you my top 10 favorite horse breeds in SSO. So this list is just my personal favorites. They're not even necessarily the horses that I think SSO did the best on or like, I don't know. Like there's some horses that I think SSO did really well on and they are very accurate to the breed, but they're just not on this list. Let's just go ahead and get started. So this isn't technically part of the list, but it's kind of like before the list. So I have two honorable mentions. So the first honorable mention was the Connemara. They're cute. They're just not for me. That's all. And then the other honorable mention might be kind of surprising, but it's actually the Yorvik Wild Horse. I think SSO did a fantastic job, but I just like more realistic horses. But anyways, let's actually get started with the top 10. The number 10 spot goes to the Lusitano. I think that this breed is very pretty and elegant. It comes in many different coat colors, some of which were exclusive to specific events, and was one of the first horses to get a special animation, the Piaf. Though they were really expensive, I think it was worth it for the time. Now that it has been a few years, the main and animations definitely look a little old, and I really can't justify the price anymore. However, at the time of recording this video, they are discounted at 615 star coins, so I would recommend getting one if you can. Coming in at number 9 is the Trackner. This was one of my favorite breeds for the longest time. They had nice animations, a good coat selection of 7 different coats to choose from, and were relatively cheap compared to some of the more recent horse releases. They however have also become slightly outdated. The coat texture is rather plain when next to new models, and they don't come with a special animation, which has become more standard over time, although they will always be a special breed in my heart. The number 8 spot goes to the American Quarter Horse, or AQH. I think that Star Stable did a fantastic job on this horse, and over time it's really grown on me. I was turned off by them at first because I mostly make English outfits and realistic roles, and these horses were made for Western, and it shows. However, the breed has really grown on me, as it has many interesting qualities. The coat variation and coat texture were all very well done. It was the most realistic horse in the game upon its release, and also one of the most expensive at 950 star coins, which is the main reason it's this low on the list. The quarters also have a special move, however, it has been recycled onto other horse breeds, making it not as unique. The number 7 spot goes to the Shinkatik Pony. This breed is the cheapest on this list at 700 star coins, making them a more affordable option. Though the horse came out a while ago, the animations and coat textures still hold up very well. They are a simple yet adorable option and really capture the idea of a sweet and little pony. The main issue is that I prefer riding horses in the game over the ponies, hence why they are this low on the list. And the sixth spot is the Generation 3 English Thoroughbred or ETB. This breed now has 9 coat options total including 2 newer coats from the Equestrian Festival. The idle animations are absolutely adorable, and the gates are also nicely detailed. The muscle definition and overall model is perfect for this breed. They are a really good horse for realistic roles, and have a good balance between realism and SSO's cartoonish style. I really don't have much of an issue with this horse. I think the Star Staple team did a really good job. In the number 5 spot is the Generation 3 Halflinger. Though the breed is incredibly new, I think that SSO did a really good job. It is one of my favorite ponies to ride and the main mechanics are really good. As of right now, there are seven different coat variations, all of which are pretty similar, but the texture is very well done. Some of the animations are a little weird, but they're very photogenic. Another nice thing is that, though the horse is a pony, its size compared to our characters actually looks like our characters are an okay size to ride them, unlike some of the other ponies. The number 4 spot goes to the Generation 3 Arabian. This model is one of the most beautiful that SSO has ever created. All of the 10 coats have loads of texture and detail. The horse also looks incredibly accurate to the actual horse, which could just be because its features are very distinct, but the SSO team did a fantastic job nonetheless. They also have a very unique special animation and tack that are specific to this horse. In third place is the Gen 3 Appaloosa. 
If I'm being honest, it was incredibly difficult to choose between this horse and the number 2 spot. The Appaloosa really stood out to me due to the main options and the gates. Both of those aspects of the horse are flawless in my opinion, and the jump is one of my favorites in the entire game. The breed has 7 different coat variations, as well as some interesting magical fish options, and I'm impressed with how different they all are, as I expected some of them to be a little repetitive. However, they all seem unique compared to the others. The price isn't too bad either, and overall it's just a really good, well-rounded breed. <laughs> In second place is the Generation 3 American Paint Horse or APH. There are almost no flaws with this horse in my opinion. Yet again, the amount of coat options is excellent. The care and detail put into this horse is wonderful to see. Being a mid-range priced horse with a special move is great, plus SSO really captured the many uses of the breed. Like in real life, the horse easily fits into all styles and game. The team did an amazing job transferring this breed into Star Stable and I really hope to see more horses at this quality in the future. Now, my absolute favorite horse in Star Stable right now is the Pasifino. Though the breed just came out, I already purchased 5 out of the 8 that were released and I'll probably purchase the rest eventually. This breed also has a special gait and special animation, with some unique main options which to me justifies the expensive price. Some of the gates are a little wonky such as the Cancer, however the model is stunning and incredibly photogenic, and with all of the coats being completely different compared to the others, I never seem to get bored riding them. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see my favorite horses in Star Stable. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, like genuinely. I'm filming this after editing the video. I've been doing nothing but editing this video for five hours straight. <laughs> That's not even an over-exaggeration. It has been five hours. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye.